Hi, this is Emily from Great Design Lead and the Great Design Lead podcast. Um, I needed a break from work today, so I decided to do a reaction video to um, an awards site of the day that I've never seen before. Um, so uh, this one is Von Helig uh, by Holographic um, in Croatia, which is kind of cool. So we're going to check out this site and see why it got site of the day and, and like, what it's like to go on it for the first time. Just let it load in. Alrighty, I'm just gonna hide these menu options. Huh, it's a little dim. Use cookies, I accept. Oh, I accept. Alrighty, this is pretty cool. So it's in English. What else is there? Uh, D E. Is that German? Probably. Yeah, Hamburg. That makes sense. Oh, <laughs> I, I translate a lot of things to German. Oh, is this a totally different site? Oh, okay. No, it's just the the interaction. All right, and then Italian. Oh, I just saw Spanish before. Interesting. So there's like a bunch of different things. That is really cool. So let's go back to English. English. Because otherwise I'm not going to understand anything. <laughs> Alrighty. But like this, this animation is really cool to open it up. All right, let's go through this. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, wow. You have like a a change in the text as it hovers over the image. That's really cool. Okay, and then we change it. I feel like this is still in German. Change back to English. Come on. Come on, you got it. All right, everything's in all of that's in English, so it's probably fine. Maybe that was just a name. Vero. This is really cool. Like this is a really neat scrolling animation that is like a little bit simpler, so it's not overwhelming, but it's still like oh, and then you have this right here where you hover over the images and then there's a reaction. So that's really cool. Let's just Oh, let's get rid of these guys. That is really neat. Oh, and then there's a progress bar here. So that's cool. So like, what do I think they're selling? Are they selling like home furnishings? Cause it says products, Salem. Oh, okay. Uh, experience, Von Hillig, Hellig. About me, about me. So is this a one person about me? Contact. What is there anything after this? Okay, this is the bottom. Okay, about me. So is that is this a one person shebang? Oh, cool. Vaughn. Oh, I don't know what Vaughn means, but Daniel. That's really cool. Design is within me. So he does all of this. Oh, even this has an interaction. This heli right here, when it goes over the tech, that is so cool. And over the images. Wow. That's really cool. I wonder if it's like an inversion because it like, it follows the image itself, not just like the, um, the square that it's in. Daniel Helig, a young Hungarian German designer, charismatic artist and creative cosmopolitan. Born in Budapest, he has half of Europe in his genes. Uh, a lot of Americans can say that too. We're kind of like I'm Austrian, Italian, random things. So I can relate to that. Um, uh, childhood days in rural Hungary were marked by Soviets and poverty. Before growing up in renewed modern Germany to begin again from nothing, a foreigner without a nest, Helig's life journey, a constant change of worlds, 
and quest for auth authenticity, identity, and balance forever shape this, don't know what that word is, Ber Bertuso's work. Okay. Just in terms of like writing, this is, I, I sometimes look at things that I get from clients where it's like a giant paragraph of uh, um, their biography about themselves and they have to whittle that down and boil it down so that uh, people who have um, uh, enough uh, attention span can actually like take in all of the information without just glazing over and like, oh, okay, that's his bio. I know where it is. I'll go back there if I ever need it. But then they end up not reading it. This is like a perfect length. And it really tells you about who he is and everything like that. Welcome. Go away. I don't need you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> there, we'll just put him in the corner. Um, all right. I'm not interested in what design is allowed to do. Okay. Yeah, like when I first saw this, I thought this was like a large multi-person company, but it's really surprising to see that it's kind of like a main one person, one designer. I don't know if he has other people work for him. For the doubter and perfectionist, principles and expectations are bad. They hinder, torment, and harass the designer, focusing on one, on one thing or doing something twice to find himself bored. Daniel Helling is driven to move forward to discover new things intuitively interdisciplinary uh experimentally finding redemption and inspiration in the infinite beauty of the moment my objects i like these quotes my objects are above all a feeling wow that's it i like the um the descriptor uh subtitle wow okay what else is down here Okay, uh, experience more. So there's collection or materials. Oh, okay. Collection, materials. I love these hover interactions, that's cool. So let's go to collection. Collection. Oh, it's just taking a second. Wow, okay, I appreciate a personal connection with the collectors of my work. It definitely it like has its own style that's like done in a whole bunch of different ways, but you can kind of tell that it comes from the same place. I love how these things come in. Designing divas and Dantes in the room. Like the amount of text that you have going on here, the fact that you have it in so many different languages is really cool. I wonder, I feel like, do you have it like different sites, like different um, uh, URLs or if it's done through a program? Yeah, the thing is, is that I like that, that it is a lot of content, but it's done in a way where everything has enough breathing space and the pages aren't really too long. So uh, let's, so I've been to the about me, I've been to home. Um, where else do I want to go? So I'll go to this burger menu. And I like that that you have a burger menu rather than um, uh, rather than having them all out because I feel like it's you have so much you have the languages you have your home button you have all products, um, adding all of these other things would probably be a little overwhelming, uh, even on like a desktop, which I'm on a MacBook Air. Um, but let's see what else is here. So products, collections, oh, hover interactions, that's so cool. Uh, materials, journal, about me, contact. All right, so we looked at collection, we didn't look at products. So where does that take us? We, just me. It does seem like uh, it does take a little bit to load in. I don't know if it's because of the number of uh, like the size of the images or anything like that. So that's really cool. I'm guessing that these all um, uh, have a similar format. So I'm just going to pick one and then I'll look at that. So I like, I like a lot of my family's from Massachusetts. So I'm going to cook Salem just randomly. 
And let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's cool. I like that little uh, jump away animation. Oh, it, but the scrolling is a little jumpy. Um, but maybe that was just me. Yeah, it's fine here. I'm trying to read this part. Salem, uh, standing coat rack, unique shimp, whatever that is. Uh, a former monastery with ancient oak forests. Huh. Salem comes from a bed bedstead where five 17th century hand colored tarot cards were mysteriously concealed. Yeah, so it has a little story. Yeah, it's really pretty how you can show all of these details of it. Where I, it doesn't feel very Ikea-ish where you're just going through images. Like it feels like going, scrolling through is kind of like an experience of all the different parts of it. What does this do? Oh, that's neat. Yeah, this is like a way cooler experience than rather than just having like four or three um, squares that I mean, that's the only image that you have for it. Scroll, scroll. I was expecting some sort of text here, but maybe, oh, this gets bigger. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, and then you go to the next product, the Hamburg. Neat, okay. Let's see what else is here. Um, materials, let's look at that. Oh, neat, okay. I don't know why there's something missing here. I, I felt I was waiting for something to load in, but maybe it's just giving it a little bit more breathing room. I love this little itty bitty hover animation. That's really cool. Yeah, it just balance out the white space. So it makes more sense with once I scroll. I don't know what dormitory is. Is that just I don't know. Sometimes I, I name colors like uh, a project I'm working on. Um, I named the color workshop orange because it was it had to do with a creative uh, builder um, client. So naming it dormitory kind of makes sense based on the story. Last meal. <laughs> it's a little, a little sad, but there's probably a story behind it. Yeah, I like that there's like this historic element of it and but it's done with like a really modern clean site. So that's really cool. It has almost like a like a publication feel where a lot of time went into setting the type and making sure everything's relating to each other and stuff like that. Like it, it seems really nice, kind of like a lookbook. Um, and so we looked at that, I think you only only have a few pages left to look at. So let's look at journal. Let me move my head. Come on. There we go. I am a design alchemist. <laughs> my designs emerge experimentally by feeling in seeming alchemistic and surgically precise development processes. Traditional thinking is far from my mind. There are, are always many truths, I think, radically to do, redefine purpose, inspired to see if something can work in a completely different context or a surprisingly new composition. Sometimes I search and experiment for months until I manage to realize the perfect prototype or understand that a discovered what a discovered object wants from me. My unique pieces of utility art take time to emerge. Patience is a prerequisite for anyone wanting to live with a Helig original. Cool. Drag or scroll. So, oh, neat. Okay, so I'll drag. That's pretty cool. So are these all journal pieces? Oh, and then you can type your name into the subscribe. Okay, I'm going to see what that looks like. So uh, Emily at greatdesignlead.com. I'm gonna scroll. Can I scroll that a little bit more? Okay. What does that say? Ah, all the way. Okay, that was a little hard to scroll. 
uh, you'll hear from us only when it matters. Okay, so let's send. What does that look like when I send it? Enter. Oh, I'm just waiting for the site. Ooh, what, okay, so what is this? So it goes back to the, oh, okay. So I, I didn't really get a confirmation or anything like that. I don't know. I wonder what, I'll get the newsletter at some point. And so I'm gonna just check out, oh, come on. Come on. All right, it's hard to get back to that. All right, so this is one journal entry. I'm a designer, drummer, and gear maniac. That's cool. All right, as a sound tinker, I am permanently searching for the perfect sound. That's one thing that's really interesting to me. Though. A lot of like creative people that I'm friends with um, also are like interested in music. So like whether it's electronic music or like guitar or something like that. So I don't know if there's something there, but okay. Oh, they have arrows here, so that's easier. Oh, so this is kind of cool. So... Wait, so I don't even understand what's happening here. We go back, go back. Um, so he worked at a specialist shop for musical instruments with a backstage access to premium products. Um, so he created this microphone that captures the dynamic range and low. Oh my, who is this guy? He's so smart. Like it's, I don't know. It's like one thing to make, um, I don't know if you would call it like a static thing of, of, I have a friend who, whose a father is a, a carpenter and like the amount of things that he can do is so impressive. But like, to me, it's like a whole nother thing when you add like robotics and, and, and electronics and tech to it. So like, this makes you seem like really well-rounded. So that's cool. When the microphone is actually a loudspeaker. Oh, wow. These little buttons are super helpful because I was having trouble like dragging to do that. That's really neat. So, so he's kind of like, like a product designer, which is pretty cool. Any Anything that I'm missing? Oh, wait, the only one I didn't see yet is contact. So let's check out contact. In inspired work with inspired work what <laughs> i guess inspired work with me there's no me but uh okay so um daniel hellig designer uh, luxurious interior design objects that's his address um his email and his phone number which as an american that the way that that number set up is very strange <laughs> Um, but I'm just going to check that this Instagram link is working and it is. Okay. And, oh, and Pinterest, that's kind of cool. Open link, a new tab. So his Instagram is Von Hellig and his Pinterest is same one. Okay. But here, I just want to quick uh, talk about who made this. So holographic, who are you? Holographic. Holographic is a creative studio specialized in design and motion. Okay, so this is their one project that's on awards. Okay, so let's see who who are you? And your site is cool, so maybe we can be friends. So let's visit site. Come on. Holographic. Holographic, a design and motion studio working with like-minded. Oh, this is a cool thing. Oh, this is a cool video. Okay. It's kind of hard to read with the video, but uh, a design and motion studio working with like-minded visionaries to make an impact on the industry throughout through a clear and effective visual language. Okay. So can I scroll? Do I click? Scrolling isn't working, so I don't know where to go. Uh, 
where do I go? Um, I'll just, uh, Instagram? Let's go to their Instagram. <laughs> I kind of expected to, to see a little bit more, but I like, I don't know where to go. Um, but uh, maybe it's, they're, they're more of like a, a contact us, um, talking face to face. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to show my outlook, but, <laughs> but holographic studio. Okay. Side of the day. There they are. That's cool. Um, so that's, that's really neat. And this is their office. Yeah. Well, this is really fun. Thanks for such a great website. Um, I think that, uh, what you did was really, really cool. Uh, there are a lot of animations and interactions here that I thought were really impressive. Um, I'm curious to know like how you built it, whether it was um, like, like HTML, CSS, kind of like on your own or GitHub or, or like Webflow or how you did it, but um, all really, really cool. Um, I hope this was uh, maybe helpful at all. Um, it's, it's cool to see somebody look at your stuff that has never seen it before. Um, you did a really great job. And so uh, thanks for a fun break um, from my work day and uh, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.